Okay, I'm here at Betty's Island at the Caney Fork River. I just shoved off with Canoe the Caney. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. They provide a shuttle service for my kayak. And then they've got all these lined up for today's customers that are gonna come out and enjoy the Caney Fork River. As you can see, it's a pretty small river. It's pretty shallow in most places. I've got a few different poles. Right now I've got on one relatively large split shot, about a number four, and then a number six bait holder hook with a half of a piece of night crawler. And I'm just gonna kinda throw upstream and let it hit the bottom and just let it bounce along the bottom. And there's somebody, first cast. And that's the way this river usually is. Looks like a trout. I'll tighten that drag a little. Oh, it's a good one, holy smokes. First trout is a beast. Here's one of them 17 inchers. Now this is gonna be in the slot limit. This is gonna be an illegal fish. Fish on this river have to be between under 14 or over 20 inches. And that goes for rainbow and brook trout. There we go, the hook's out. Let's see if we can't get some semblance of a measurement. This one goes down from 24, 12, 13, 14, 14 and a half inches. And there he goes. I'll reach back in the cooler. Just, just a little piece. Wash him off a bit. Right now I've just kind of pinned myself up in this tree here. I'm getting pushed out and I don't want to. I want to stay here. I want to throw downstream and hold this off against the current for a cast or two. And I'm not going to be able to. This river's pushing me a little too hard. Big old piece of worm. Let's see here. Cast upstream and kind of drag it down. It's hung on the bottom. That happens a lot when you're fishing this way. I'm just going to gently pull it off. Feels like I lost most of it. My hook in my sinker. That's pretty much all you need. Okay, let's readjust this sinker. Get us another worm. Whoa, lively. Oh no, I just flipped that whole giant worm right out of the boat and he's gone. Okay, third cast. First one I caught a fish, second one I got hung up. Kinda steer into this tree here. Maybe I can sit against it. Ah, there we go. Nice. Now, I don't have to cast upstream and let it drift. I can cast downstream and just hold it off against the current. 
which is always preferable. You don't get hung up as much that way. Still get hung up. It's not as much. Oh, that's perfect. I'm just gonna set it down. Let it sit out there. Once I take my attention off of it, wipe my sweat off my face. That's typically how I catch bigger trout. Just kind of ignore the pole. Of course, who knows if I'll catch anything bigger than that first one. That was a, that was a beast. The first cast gift. Rocky Mountain Cold Coors Light. I threw my night crawler into this shaded area because the jig wasn't getting any action. And as soon as I threw it in on the first cast, I hooked up with what feels like a small trout. It is. Hopefully I've got this one in the lip. Get my hand a little wet. And that was perfect. Got a touch on him. Got him released. Without damaging any health points. Boy, I tell you what, if you're not getting hung up, you're not fishing. Look at that. Good grief. Come on. Wrong way. There we go. All right. Got a little bend in the river coming up. The first one since we launched. There's deeper water on the left, shallow water on the right. I'm probably gonna set up just above the current water with my anchor and hold a night crawler off against the current. So we'll see how that goes. I'm sitting right in the middle of the stream. I've got my worm out behind me. Straight back out that direction. I'm gonna hold it off against this current. See if I can't do any good. Okay, I've caught one here, holding off against the current. Looks like a good one. Might not rival that 14 incher from earlier, but it'll be close. Oh, it's hooked well. It's hooked well. And these people are gonna get a show. Wait till y'all, no, come this way. What? Yeah, come, wait till you see this trout I've got on. No, you're fine. You're fine. Even if you run into me, you're fine. Trust me, you're fine. Trust me, it's fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it at all. Look right there in the water. See that trout jumping? Look to your left. Just look straight to your left. Right here. It just went right under your boat. Yep, isn't that amazing? It's a good one. This is a, this, oh yeah. It's gonna push 14, 15 inches easy. There we go, let's get a shot of it on the camera here. Okay, wow, look at this beast, holy mackerel. I've got a fight on my hands here. We've got him hooked right in the face, that's good. See the worm hanging out. Let's try to get him in the net. Let's try to get him in the net, oh, there we go. Holy mackerel. I knew I was in a spot with some big ones. My goodness, that's a big one. That's much bigger than 14 inches. This one's gonna go 17 easy. Let's get this fish back in the water. Get him some air. Any amount of air will do. Okay. There we go, get a little breath. Get a little breath. Okay, let's see how long you are. Okay. This fish wet my hand. This fish is hmm, 24, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 inches exactly. 
16 inch rainbow. Oh, come on, baby, you're going in. There you go. It's out of here. That one probably weighed in the two and a half pound range, I'd say. <sighs> I didn't want to put a scale on it. It was illegal as the slot limit is 14 to 20. Nothing in between 14 and 20 for rainbow trout is legal. So it came out of this little area right here with some people sliding by, which was neat. And I never mind having people. The more people, the better. I usually catch bigger fish when there's more people. And here comes some more people. Let's see if he can't catch one for them. I'm gonna get rigged back up and throw out a night crawler. Got a night crawler on the bottom. Just holding it off against the current. Got my Fluger ultralight reel. Got my What is this? I don't know. All Star. Fast ultralight. Five foot, two to six pound line. I've been using six pound line because you've seen fish I've hooked occasionally. There's a big one. I've caught them five, six plus pounds in this river. They're few and far between. But I'm always prepared. And I didn't get a bite. I'm shocked. Okay, I'm departing from this hole. Uh -huh. Cast it out behind me and I'm floating downstream. I keep the line tight and bump it along the bottom. This usually works pretty well. for more active fish, ones that are willing to chase it out of whatever zone they're sitting in. Just a night crawler, bumping along the bottom. The river gets wide and deep, probably about four or five feet. And then there's the fourth interstate bridge on this river the first one on my trip today and there'll be one more after this one there's always good fishing under the bridge any of the bridges and i'm gonna fish a lot of rooster tail and jigs through this area while i paddle through and drink a delicious coors light all right worms up i'm gonna Pitch this little piece back and grab me this jig and start jigging along this rocky bank and see if I can't pull out something. This river holds a lot of striped bass. <clears throat> Big ones. And uh, in areas like this, I will break out this big rod and a big seven inch cotton cordell. And I will fish for these rockfish. I've caught them in here fairly sizable, upwards of 40 pounds. Recently though, everything's been a teenager, 13, 14, 15. I'll get a few of those on video for you guys. We'll see if I can't stir one up right here. I've made about 40 casts with this thing. My arm's getting sore. It's a one foot diver. I work it real slow at night, but pretty quick in the daytime. I haven't gotten any action on it. I haven't seen any blow ups out here at all. Usually I do in this area. 
I've got a few more casts with this before I get to that bridge and I'll post up under that bridge somewhere and catch a few fish before the river splits left and right. This is a eighth ounce rooster tail. I'm gonna throw it here around this dam um, above it. And then when I get situated in the dam, I'll likely throw a rooster tail for a second until I switch over to that old faithful night crawler, which works so well. I'm anchored under the bridge and there's this tree here in front of me. And I'm gonna try and fish in that tree. Let's see what's in there with this night crawler. Throw it over top and bring it down right inside of it. Nobody home that time. I'll try it again, try and get in there a little tighter. Oop, a little too tight. There you go. You come right up beside your boat. <laughs> There you go. All right. Always when there's people around, I catch fish. Love having people around. Okay. This is a more typical, just a little bigger than stalker size. And he's got the hook down in there, so we're gonna have to do a little surgery and get that out safely. I had a fish on, pretty good one. But it got off, and that's okay. Straight back behind me, and just hold it against the current. And see what happens. There's a bite. Got him. Oh yeah. That current makes all of them feel big. I love it. Five foot ultralight. Beautiful. What do we got here? This is, oh! One of those striped bass I was telling y'all about. So, what we have here is actual rockfish. Now this is a super stalker. Regular old stalker size. I ran my kayak up on this tree and I've got a worm out. Just downstream, there's a bite. Let's see if I can't see the bite on camera. Get that rod tip in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cast it back up towards the tree and hooked this little rainbow that's not very happy about it. Yes, I know, I know. Get my hand good and wet for you. I'm gonna grab you out and get that hook out of there real quick. This split shot. <clears throat> is getting me hung up too much. As I'm dragging down through here, I'm gonna take it off. And put on a smaller one. That way, as I'm dragging along through here, on the bottom, I won't get hung up as much. Two rivers diverge left and right at the interstate bridge and then come back together here under that railroad bridge. A creek comes out and meets up with 
the caney and from here you can see the edge of the water line where it goes from relatively clear to cloudy all at once and it'll be that way the rest of the way down except in the shallow areas it's just really fun really beautiful everybody's having a good time